how you doing? What's up? I, you know, I haven't come on in a long time. I'm here at the farmer's market here in Plantation, Florida. Just, you know, talking to the people and introducing the cotton plants to people, the multiple colors and stuff like that. You know, as you've seen, these are the cotton bowls here. This is the brown one, you know. I took them off the farm today so that people can see what they look like. And then, of course, we got the seeds right here. Now, this is really, really powerful. Um, a lot of people are healing from this. And, you know, introducing them to the plants out here, I, I really did not believe that people would be open to learning about organic cotton. I really believe that they just would refuse this. And a lot of people do because it's got a lot of stigma attached to it historically and all that stuff. But the majority of people I've encountered and have come into the shop have been moved and have taken plants home. And I'm just so fortunate to be out here today talking to people, you know. This is a brown one right here. It's like huge. And this is a green one. We've got these planters out here. We got the plants out here. We got positivity out here. We ain't playing, you know what I'm saying? Our objective is to bring the cotton back without slavery and hopes to heal from the psychological trauma done through the exploitation of cotton in the USA and abroad. And, you know, one of the ways we're doing that is through the art. And um, a lot of the art that I've done out here. Good morning. How you doing? Happy New Year. The art I've done out here looks like this, you know, so you have the money here. This is like decor and stuff like that. This is the money here. And then on this side, you have the cotton right here, you know, and this stuff, this cotton will keep its shape for thousands of years. It will never change. How you doing? Hi, how Welcome you? to the garden. I'm great. It's a pleasure. Good. Got a plant over here if you're open. All right. And um, yeah, so we have all of this out here, you know, artwork, we have crosses, we have plants, we have seeds, and it is a tremendous, tremendous success. And I'm just, it's just taken off since last year, May, we started at the swap shop and we just continue to keep going and going and bringing awareness to the people. And I can't tell you how many people have come back and are so moved by the amount of uh, success that the cotton has been for them. They've had failures in the past with other plants and they just didn't believe that they can grow anything and they come back to me crying, you know, telling me how much they are mesmerized by the cotton plant and just are planting a number of other plants now. And that, that's what it's all about, you know, and it's, it's, it can be difficult for me as the, you know, I'd say the conduit because I don't know what's going to come up for people. And sometimes I get choked up myself because I don't know what's going to come up. And, you know, I'm always, I have to stay on my toes because I can be taken off guard out here. So, um, I just wanted to thank everybody that have tuned in and have taken home plants and have healed from this, you know, whole experience and are healing from it and are pending to come back and take plants and, and uh, plant cotton, um, plant their own cotton, because that's what it's about, you know, that's what it's about. Um, and uh, I... I just couldn't take looking at all my shirts personally and seeing that all of them are made in the Bangladesh and in Pakistan and, you know, and, and India and China and all these other places. And we're sitting here very privileged in America, not seeing how our privilege is affecting other countries and children, especially five-year-olds who are, you know, dying jeans and t-shirts and all of that stuff. You know, it's, it's, there are ways that we can change things and take responsibility and use organic cotton and natural fibers and all that good stuff. How are you doing this morning? Welcome, welcome to the garden. Absolutely. So that's one of the missions out here is to, you know, give people an opportunity to experience cotton for themselves and 
I'm just so grateful. I'm so grateful and I will continue. There's a spinning wheel coming. There is a GoFundMe right now happening. We're like, we're 25% at our goal. You can totally donate. I'll put the description below right here in this, uh, in this video. And I greatly appreciate it. We'd all greatly appreciate it because, you know, you'll see me out here. You can see a little bit of the shop. I'll show you a little bit. That spinning wheel right there. That's an antique right there, but we're going to get an actual one very soon. That's what the GoFundMe is for. We got that little display right there with all the art and all that stuff right there. You have the plants back there. We got shirts. It's a bunch of stuff happening out here. So, you know, be so if you would be so kind to make a generous donation so that we can meet our goal by February 1st, we'd greatly appreciate it. That is what we want out here today is to meet our goal by February 1st. Golden History Month is coming up, so we're going to need a spinning wheel out here so that you can see myself spinning cotton. I'm learning to spin cotton right now, and it's really, really exciting because I've never thought in a million years that I'd be spinning cotton, and it's um, it's not very easy, but it's happening. So donate today. Have a beautiful, beautiful weekend. Happy New Year. Welcome to the garden. Hey, man. What's Welcome up? Hey. Listen, I got plants out here for you. 